you know, for young Arab men or young Indian men or young Pakistani men or the equivalent coming to me, telling me what I'm supposed to believe and what I'm supposed to accept as Islam is so fucking racist. And people like that, you, you can really go to hell. You can go and fuck yourself and you can go to hell. Who do you think you are? Hmm? It's so fucking racist and it's like saying that you are more of a man than I am. That, that's what you're saying. You're saying that because I'm black, I, I'm not like a man enough to sort of think for myself. I'm not a man enough to be able to choose that myself. You, little boy, are going to come to the black man and telling him what, what he's supposed to believe. You're going to fuck yourself. We are not living in 1800s anymore. We are not living in the 1800s anymore. Black people are not slaves. We don't have to bow down to you. We can think whatever the hell we want. We have so many saints. Setting Tuba, Sheikh Ahmed Tijani, Sheikh Ibrahim Yas, Setting Falo, Setting Salyu, etc., etc. We have so many Sufi saints. We have our own theories. We have our own culture. We have our own elders. We have our own guides. We have our own way of relating to cosmology, our own mysticism, our own uh, metaphysics. Our own alchemy, lots of it in Africa. Magic, lots of magic in West Africa. Everyone is like a mage or a wizard or something like that. And the Sufis are doing counter magic. We have so much of it. We have so much spirit. We have so much life. We have so much theory. We are ancient. We are ancient. We come from the ancient land of Mu. Some call it Pangea. That was before this current cycle of time. Black people today are survivors of a great cataclysm that happened millions of years ago. That's why you can find black original people all over the world, even the Pacific Ocean Islands. Hmm? Who the hell are these newcomers to come here and tell us what we are supposed to believe or how we are supposed to relate to Allah, which is not something that is separate from us? Or how we are supposed to relate to Rasulullah, the perfect man in San al Kamin? The final door in this time period. Who are you to tell us anything? Hmm? And this, this thinking is so racist. You see, men don't accept theories of other men unless they have something to gain from it. So if, if there are any black people, brown people here or Sufis trying to argue with the Arab Salafis, don't. Don't. They are never going to accept. Why, why would they? You think they're going to accept Serin Tuba? Why would they? Why would they accept Sheikh Ahmed Tijani? In Serin Tuba's world, they are losers. Why would they accept the theory uh, where they are losers? Right now in the, in the Middle East, the Arab men can do whatever they want with the women, put nikah, burqa, take away all their rights and say, this is Islam, this is Islam. So they are winners. In the Salafi system, the Arab men are winners and everyone else is a loser. So why the hell would they uh, accept another doctrine that, where they are not winners? It's the same with Western people. In the white supremacy system, the Western man is the winner and everyone else is a loser. The laws and everything and how they are interpreted are interpreted differently for Western people. So he's playing the game on his own rules, on his own terms. And he's judging according to his own criteria where you are a loser and he's a winner. I'm not necessarily blaming uh, the Western man for it, although it's a fucked up racist system. But what I'm saying is... You, as a black man, as a brown man, you play your own game with your own rules. If you are spiritual, you should be Sufi. You understand? If you're West African, follow your own saints. You don't have to follow the Arabs or any other people that are playing life on their own terms. You play in yours. You see, men are about power and excluding other men from gaining power. So that way they can create that clique where they are winners and you are losers. So they take all the women. But all of this is falling apart anyway. This is just here to say that Ya Arif, Ya Arif, Ya Arif, oh knower of thyself, know thyself. You are the one who create the world. You are the one who judge yourself. Set the rules the way you want so you can achieve your dream. Judge according to the way you judge. Follow those who benefit you and your people. Don't follow doctrine that benefits someone other than yourself. Then you are his slave. Like Bomali said, emancipate yourself from mental slavery. This is it. Allahu alam. Salaamu alaikum.